If you aren't comfortable with this shape, you better get comfortable. The SAT is going to keep asking about this. The way I learned to describe this is we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Transversal is just a fancy name for another line. So this creates a lot of congruent angles and supplementary angles. Congruent angles are the same, supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So we're gonna use both of those facts to kind of move around this picture. Ultimately, we wanna to get to that why. So let's, let's kind of put things in place here. The way that I think about it is I know that if this is a 58 on the top, because of something called vertical angles, any anytime we have lines intersecting, the angles that are opposite each other in that intersection point are equivalent, are congruent. So that 58 is also here. Then we can use the parallel lines. And so basically we kind of see there's like a little bit of a Z shape here, right, Z. And the parallel lines create a, a, an equivalence at the two kind of corners of the Z. So if that top corner is 58, then this bottom part of the Z is also 58. So we have to be able to recognize this. A lot of times they'll just kind of give you a shape that looks like this Z, so that way you can just like see it obviously. But if it's buried in some other shape, if they tell you in some other geometry question that lines are parallel, odds are good you're gonna use this rule in some way. And the technical name for these two 58s that I just wrote is that these are alternate, interior angles, right? They're both angles. They're both inside the two parallel lines, interior, and they're alternate, meaning opposite, right? They're on opposite sides of the other diagonal line. Now, I don't think for the SAT you're gonna need to know that vocabulary, alternate interior angles, but it's good. It's easy to talk about and it, you know, it's gonna come up in school, so it's good to know. So there we go, now we're getting really close to the Y. And now I'm gonna switch colors because we're, we're kind of doing something else here, a different rule. The Y is not 58, but together the 58 and the Y are both on a, a single line, right? They're both kind of on this one line. And that means that they are supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. So this is another rule that we need to know. This is not provided to you in that geometry reference chart. This is something you need to memorize. But yes, any straight line, no matter how many ways we divide it, the straight line still has 180 degrees. So basically, I would just you know make a little bit of an equation. Y plus 58 oops, is equal to 180. Subtract the 58. And we're going to get Y is equal to, I'm going to use my calculator here, 180 minus 58. Y is equal to 122. Now don't bubble that, because that's not the answer. Sometimes that's all we need to do, but in this case, we have one extra step, y is equal to 2x plus eight, so we just have to do a little bit more algebra here, but it's not even geometry related at this point. So I'm just gonna substitute my 122. 122 is equal to 2x plus eight. And now let's solve, subtract eight from both sides. So 2x is equal to 122 minus eight is one, why is this going all over the place? Uh, 114 right? See, I'm nervous now. I'm too angry at the iPad for being annoying. Uh, 114. And then we can divide by 2. And we're going to get x is equal to 57. And that is the answer. There we go. So there are a couple of places to make some mistakes. Um, it's just a coincidence, though, that the 57 is close to the 58 that we had. That, that's just a coincidence. There's nothing to do with geometry or any rules or anything like that. Um, but the, the main thing for all of these questions is being able to navigate that, that picture, that Z picture, and be able to move around it and know which angles are gonna be the same and which angles are going to be supplementary, add up to 180. And so hopefully, even though it says it's not drawn to scale, you can still see which angles are gonna be the same, right? All of those little angles there are the 58s. So you can kind of put all those on there and then all the big angles, those are gonna be the ones that are supplementary to 58. So 180 minus 58. This is very likely to come up on your SAT. It is a shape that they, for some reason, really love. So get comfortable with it. Uh, it's going to come up in either an easy question or hard one, but you need to be able to know the rules to navigate it, no matter what difficulty the question is.